drink as much mead as the other lords. So what does that make me? Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, Norvasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Mains and the Battleborns. You want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. You'd best hurry it up. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Did you want to talk? You know what these people need? Someone to take out the stick from up their asses. They're all so stuck up, it's making me gap. Hurt Uncle Rogvir? Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. You should tell her that her uncle is betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Adlar. You're all hard. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! They tried no joining murder. the Bard's College. Ulfric I thought Bard's were supposed to he have a sense of humor, but combat. they just sit there reading books. Such is our way. I can't Such believe the what the guy made me do to join, though. All <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. <gasps> he wanted me to retrieve some dusty old relic from some forbidden cave. I just handed him an old book. And they spent ages trying to decipher the nonsense that Understand. arose in it. <laughs> I go to Sovngarde. to 
bad rubbish I sent. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my way. So many details to work out. Hello. Heard they were forming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. You heard of Raven Scar Hollow? Cave on the island to the west. Places a roost for those foul hag ravens. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. Hello? He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord. Impressive headgear, he although... I can gather <laughs> we're missing some hair now, enough, are we? Then we need just that doll, cute and innocent, You're after another and the guards stare in a blind eye. But this time, share some of Not that I'm a bad person or anything. Plans. Most of the Embellish time. If you have to. Did I file all the we'll combat let it records seem yet? Like it's his idea. <sighs> Better double check. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. What's up? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Sir. Hello there. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little How test. How much farther do we have to run? Past that, and we'll talk about I you have joining my the cardio. Region. The kind that evaluates your usefulness during... duress. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. Did you feel that? The ancients built like... many of the fortresses that dot oh, the landscape God. of Skyrim. By the way, isn't it time Sadly, to most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through it. Uh, hey!
Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. So you can make some pretty decent potions on here. Don't worry, I just thought of a funny prank to pull on someone. Being old's not so bad. My daughter keeps me fed. And my working days are done. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History. And scribe work when I can find some quiet time. What? Oh, hello. Sibyl Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. No, that honor is Sibyl Stentor's. A smart woman steers clear of Stentor. And keeps herself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. I make sure Erica keeps breathing. Oh, I think you'll find that magic is rare in Skyrim. Winterhold, though. The college there has it in abundance. Look there if you wish to learn. Da -da -da -da. You are free Dragon to leave. Born received a shout. Yay! <laughs> Okay, oh, hello. Just, just tidying up. I swear to you, un... Coming from that cave, there are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my... Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. So, is it Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? You could show me I would what have really someone happens take care of the cave as well, Hardius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... he simply ceased to be. That is all I will say, for it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war. And her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim. And like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. 
They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Please, it's my duty is to keep the Jarl safe, not play nursemaid to you sycophants. Do you have... I am the Jarl's steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. You mean now, the Dragon Bridge issue? Solitude, the center of I'll trade be honest and with you. I was right planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember that. Feel free to return to me, Jones. The Blue Palace is an open forum. You look ready to take on about anything. <laughs> Wish I could say the same for myself. You, you help me. Help people, right? That's what you do. Fever? I'm starting to feel woozy and dizzy. Or was it those 50 sweet rolls I had? That doesn't sound very pleasant to me. 
I mean, who in the right mind would eat a giant skull or troll fat? Sorry. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed. Welcome to My the Winking Skeever, friend. I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells District, looking for new blood to hire. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. They were smaller back then. People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. I think the Bard's College might be looking for recruits. You should speak to the head of the college, Viarmo, if you're interested. People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Yes. You want to talk? Are you sure you want to trust me with that? Oh, what is it? And that's the stuff? I hope you're not just trying to get me to... Well, you know... Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the Dragonborn comes. With a voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the Dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the Dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the Dragonborn's come. Hello there. Yes. Which song? They say brawl fights at an inn only create chaos and disturbance for the place. I say it builds character. Plus, everyone's always applauding you. Strange oh, I love it's... that one. We give drink to the youth for years yet to come For the age of the dragons is just about done We'll drive out the people and not pay what we owe With your blood and your money we'll send them back home Down with Elduin, the big ugly beast on the day of your death, we will drink and we'll feast. We're the people of Skyrim and we fight for our lives. And when the dragonborn reckons, everybody must die. But this land is mine, so let's see it wiped clean of the dragons that ruined our hopes and our dreams. <laughs> 